Excellent question. There's a lot going on in clinical nutrition. Uh, new studies that are going to be coming out soon that I think will affect our thinking on a number of things. One study that just recently came out that I thought was very interesting suggests that cats may have even a higher protein requirement than we thought they did to sustain their lean muscle mass rather than just the amount of nitrogen going in and out of the body. And so. Um, my guess is that that will result in the reformulation of some foods and that might even answer the question about is it carbohydrate or protein that's an issue. The, uh, the other things that I think about in, are very important in nutrition is not just the diet but feeding management and one of the things that we recommend and I would really like to study or to see study is the use of food puzzles because most of the animals in our practice are indoor housed only and if you put, put, put food in a puzzle <laughs> easy for me to say. If you, if you put food in a puzzle, then it can take the cat all day to get the food out of it, and that's both mentally and physically stimulating. And, you know, I work in a large urban practice, and so essentially I'm a zoo veterinarian because all of our animals are captive indoors, and as we've learned from the zoo vets, that feeding enrichment is one of the best forms of environmental enrichment that the animals under our care can have. The other thing is that while I'm personally dismayed that we don't seem to be making a whole lot of progress in obesity in adult animals, one of the options that I think I'd like to see explored more is to get much better about teaching body condition scoring to owners of kittens growing up. Because in my experience, and you can ask any behaviorist, it's a whole lot easier to shape behaviors than it is to change behaviors. And so my hope is, is that if we can get started much earlier in these animals, teach the owners just what's normal about the animal's body weight and body condition that they will be able to take it from there. And those first three appointments that we have, the, what are sometimes called routine vaccination appointments, in my view are the three most important interactions we will ever have with that client and that cat because they are shaping the relationship that we're going to have for the rest of the time we interact with each other and that's our opportunity to shape it in the best interest for the long-term health and welfare of both the cat and the client.